Hey guys, um, we're starting out a new YouTube video. Subscribe to Mom's YouTube video. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>this is what happens when your children watch a little too much hobby kids and ryan's toy review they all want to be youtubers and do your intros hey what's up phantom friends and welcome back and for those of you who are new to the channel welcome to the family so i'm going to do something today that i haven't done in a hot minute and that is let's play uh there is a new well, I say new, it's, it's, it's been out for a while, but new to me. Um, there's a game on the App Store, and I believe it's both on Apple and Android, and it is called Mystery at the Opera. Um, quite obviously, it is a Phantom of the Opera game, and um, so today I'll be using the uh, app MobiZen to uh, do my screen recording and uh, kind of see what this game is about. I don't know anything about it. Um, it could be a, a hidden uh, items game. It could be like the uh, game of sultans and maybe we have to vie for the phantom's attention. I will cut a bitch. What am I talking about? I think it's goody two shoes and everyone knows it. So, let's get going. The, the way that this uh, records Moby's in is a little janky. It records straight from the. Oh. Straight from the sound coming from the phone, so audio might not be great. Okay, so, greetings, my name is Mario Vittor, yay, and I am the empresario of the Il Canto Opera House in Venice, where, as you know, your cousin Edward performs as an operatic tenor, or at least he did until very recently. That is exactly why I'm contacting you. I'm afraid I have some bad news regarding Edward. It would seem that he has disappeared without a trace. Mm -hmm. Graphics on this are pretty nice. Graphics on this are really nice. This is an app game. Sorry, I'm gonna turn up a little bit. Okay. Do we have to? No, I don't want to skip. I just want it to. Go. What's it doing? Okay, that was weird. Okay, so little Lottie. And then Okay, you must be Edward's cousin. He told me so much about you. I'm Sabrina, by the way, pleased to make your acquaintance. I and Il Encanto's stage manager. I'll get straight to the point as there is no time to lose. Your cousin possessed a rare ability to travel into and through operas. What does that mean? We fear he vanished inside of one of them and we have reason to believe you might share the same power. Try it now with the Aida opera. 
I would... I don't understand. I would really like to figure out, like... What? What? So... We... I'm so confused. Okay, go. We're traveling into Aida. Is this even a phantom game? Like, I don't quite understand. Or are you li is it literally just a game about opera? No, it says the phantom secret. Okay. At the bottom you can see a list of objects that you need to find on the screen. Okay, so it is kind of like Mystery Legends, I guess. And, um, I guess it's a hidden object game. Okay, so... I... whatever the hell that is... Use tools to make finding hidden objects easier for you. There are tools are available in the bottom right corner. Try using the opera binoculars tool to find an object faster. Okay, so this one has um, hints as well, obviously. Um, okay. What if I don't want to use my... I don't want to use them yet. It's... <laughs> I don't want to use them yet, though. Okay, that's great. Wow. I like how it forces you to waste your, um... Uh... Hints. That's... That sucks. Kinda lame, you guys. Um... You're not... Gotta be chill. Okay, we've successfully searched for item items in Aida. Okay. I have yet to see what this has to do with Phantom. Oh, I've reached a new level. Energy and power are fully restored. We need energy and power. For what? You did it! Very impressive! Edward and I worked together to open these operas ever since he had first found out about them. I don't have the gift, but I know a lot about these worlds. Edward entrusted me enough to make me his confidant, and I hope I'll earn your trust as well. I'm still just kind of lost when it comes to this guy's alleged powers. He he has the ability to live out these operas? Like, for real? Isn't that kind of the point of being an actor, is that's kind of already what you're doing? I don't think I'd actually want to go into a lot of these operas, especially if you're a soprano. That's like going into a Star Trek episode with a red shirt on. Dooming yourself in the beginning. Um, dear cousin, if you are reading this, that means that you are aware of my secret. And also that you share my powers. I knew we did well to enlist your aid. Unfortunately, I believe I am being spied on by others who... The first opera remained open from Edward's passage, but they normally require certain preparations in order to disclose their secrets. You'll have to gather the pieces that comprise each operatic landscape. Try to restore the Traviata. Okay, so now we're working on the Traviata, and I I manage so many pages on Facebook. I get notifications constantly. So I'm sorry you're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, Traviata, Giuseppe Verdi, 1853, premiered at Teatro Tunis in Venice, one of Verdi's many masterpieces. The title La Traviata literally means the woman who strayed, or perhaps more figuratively, the fallen one. It was originally called Violetta after the main character, but was later renamed. La Traviata is a tragic story of a high class courtesan who is arguably one of the top five most popular operas of all time. 
or perhaps even the top three. At the moment, it is the most performed opera worldwide. I mean, I'm liking this so so far. Um, they uh, they seem to know their their shit about opera. But of course, I got optimistic about uh, Return of the Phantom as well. If you remember all their very accurate information about the Garnier, and then it ended up just going haywire. So. Oh, I'm not, uh... You can now restore the opera to combine all the pieces. You need 3,500 coins. Is this game basically telling me that eventually I'm gonna have to, to pay for it in order to advance? Okay, so now we gotta do a jigsaw puzzle. Well, my four-year-old would love this. Okay, this is interesting. Oh god, that's loud. Okay. Um, yeah, I was gonna say some of these look like they need to be. Okay, cool. So. I do love La Traviata. It's a wonderful author. Congratulations! I'm sure this luxurious interior, interior is full of mysteries just waiting to be unearthed. Ooh, how mysterious. Congratulations, you have unlocked the Traviata Opera. Okay. I've unlocked three operas. Completed stage one of the Guru of Gateways achievement. Okay, so. Well done, that's how you do it. A similar procedure will be employed for all the other operas as well. In the meantime, I have someone you should meet. Nice to meet you, I am Mario. Torre, Il Encanto's Impresario. Edward did mention that he'd opened a gateway to an operatic world, but I thought such ideas were flights of fancy and old wives' tales for opera, opera buffs and overzealous music lovers. I'd heard the legends, and I know the theory, but... <laughs> but to actually witness someone doing it utterly amazing. You have inherited your family's skills, and you are able to jump and navigate through these operas. Okay, they have told us this about 15 times, and I, I think I I get it. I have some weird ability to enter actual opera storylines. Again, as tragic as most operas are, I don't know if this is an ability I'd ever actually want to possess. I think being an opera singer is... And just performing it on stage, I think that's good enough for me. Ugh. So anyway... I can help you find your cousin. We can't leave him at the mercy of his kidnappers. I'm sure you're as determined as, uh, to see this through as I am. Who, was so who kidnapped him? Eric? <laughs> a shadowy figure, you say. Edward never mentioned anything like this. Which is a clue in itself. He did say he was being watched, though. He, in fact, in fact, the fact that his... I feel like Daz Games right now with the low disk space. <laughs> That's what this feels like. Um, the fact that his room was ransacked proves this was not just some paranoia. He really was spied on. This figure in the shadows might be connected to that, but perhaps it manifested itself only to you. Okay. So I guess this is where Eric's getting involved. There is so much. Ugh. I may cut some of this stuff. 
because a lot of this is very repetitive, so if it is, don't worry, I won't make you deal with this. My friend, it is becoming clear that you are on the cusp of great, exciting, potentially dangerous adventure. You are the only one who can help your cousin and get to the bottom of this operatic mystery. Shadowy figures, operas, ancient secrets, and hidden challenges await. We certainly have our hands full and our work cut out for us. Well, we really can't follow you to the other side of the operas, but we will do our best to aid you in any way we can. Indeed. So much dialogue. Indeed, there are a few things that we must teach you, the skills and information that you will, that will be of great help in your inspiring quest. You're, you possess the gift to travel through operatic landscapes into different time and place. I'm aware! You've only told me about 20 times! Uh, there are certain things you must learn to make your voyage as, an ex as expeditious and efficient as possible. I have a feeling I'm gonna get frustrated very quickly. Let us start with a thing called energy. You will need energy if you are to be of any help to your cousin. Exploring operas drains your energy. Once it is spent, you'll have to wait for it to replenish or recharge it by other means. You'll have to pay for it. <laughs> Next we have the timer. It should prove to be extremely valuable in your travels. It will replenish some of your energy at uh, every interval. You can get coins and crystals in the bank. As far as beginnings go, I'd say you're off to a very good start. You've remained more or less undaunted by the miraculous news and findings you were subjected to. And that says a lot about your steadfast character. Let us move forward. Alright, so we got our research assignment. Assignment tasks. I'm just gonna, like give you guys a kind of a uh, <laughs> summary of what this this crap says um, and do a jump cut while I read it because this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay so what it's saying right now is that our uh, first of all on, on one side it said that they're employing the help of some guy, uh, a constable, and uh, yeah, I don't know how relevant that is to anything, but uh, our, our task for the moment is to find the clapper. So it's like a pair of hands, I guess. Show hints. No, I don't want to buy crap. This is very confusing. Oh. So yeah, a lot of this seems to be like kind of a find it situation, like um like Mystery Legends was. So... But then they, I guess they, they give you a storyline again, like Mystery Legends as well, for you to follow. Um, so... Okay, so we need to find... Hat, handman, contract, cigarette case, ballerina, and flute. Okay, well, there's the ballerina. Um, the fact that it's on a phone and so it's really small, I have a feeling that's going to cause problems.
At least things seem to be to scale in this game as opposed to Mystery Legends where a contact lens would be like the size of somebody's head. Um, well. Oh, there's the thing. Um, contract. Oh, okay. Uh, hat. Flute. Uh, the cigarette case. Um, see, I, I don't think, you know, like Mystery Legends had that, that hint where it showed you the shape of it or whatever. And I don't think this has that. So. This might take me a minute. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized you're on a timer. Oh no! So you can fail the levels by not doing it fast enough? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I almost failed the level. I didn't realize there was a timer. Wow. Okay. Um. Cool. And now explore operas in silhouette search mode. Tap an opera to try it. What if I don't want to? <laughs> oh, I gotta go back to Aida and do it again? Uh, and they appear only as silhouettes. Turn from the objects by yourself and... <laughs> Apparently we are on a timer, which puts an all new type of pressure on me. Um, wow, this sucks. Um, one thing looks like a treadmill. What the hell? I don't even know what that was. And some of these things are pretty well hidden, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but one thing looks like a face of some sort. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's that thing. Cool, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done! Oh! I'm almost done. Where is it? Where? What is that thing? It looks like a vase or a scarab or something. Okay. Okay. Well, I did it. Explore three operas three times in a row. Or, I mean, you've explored operas three times in a row. You've completed stage one of the stage manager achievement. Okay. You've got both of them outstanding work. Please return the clapper. It's crucial to. Okay. A fine looking plant, indeed. Do everything in your power to find the wheat. I'm not okay. So we we have to find these specific things within these. Are these like bonus items that we have to find within the like aside from what they give us? Okay. 
I don't think they're in Aida. Okay. So we need to go back to Aida and find the radish. Okay, so these are extra items. Um, oh no. Um, call me Pharaoh's. It's not the Pharaoh's staff, seriously? Um, apparently, that's an Ibis. I would have never known that um, had it not told me that at the beginning of the game. Um, did. Uh, oh, the flute stylus. Um, Pharaoh's staff. Apparently, that big, huge thing is not the Pharaoh's staff. Is this it? Okay. I'm still looking for like little red things that might be the, the rat. Is that it? no? God, this is Mystery Legends on steroids. Especially since it's so small, you can barely see it. Wow, I'm gonna fail this level. What the stylus? Oh, uh, yeah. Um. I don't know where the rat. I thought it was up there, but it's not. Let's go clicking on everything. Oh, apparently if you get a number of things wrong, it takes time off of your- Wow. Um... Whoops. I don't understand. I'm trying to find the flute and the cobra and the radish, and I don't see any of them. Oh my god. Yep. There we go. I'm about to. I'm about to lose this level. Frickin' hell. Yep. Okay, yeah, so you've run out of time. However, you can continue exploring by using this tool. Do you wish to uh, use the metronome to add another 45 seconds to the timer? No, I'm gonna need a lot more than 45 seconds. What? Are you sure you don't want to use the metronome? Your progress in the stage manager. Explore operas ten times in a row. Achievement. Oh, okay, so it's not going to kick me back in the storyline. It's just going to screw up my achievement that I'm working on. And I'm fine with that. As long as it doesn't, like, kick me back in progress in the actual story. Whatever. Okay, and actually, I think I'm going to call it there, you guys. Um... We've kind of started to get the basics of this game. Um, it's a little strange, a little um, hard to follow, but um, it's something that I can continue doing if you would like. I can make this uh, a series as well. So, we'll just... Uh, We'll leave it there for now, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Stay fantastic with a PH, and keep your hand at the level of your eyes.